good morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i chopped my hair let's just start with the fact that i chopped my hair i cut like four inches off and it was not my plan at all i was gonna grow it out a little bit but then i'm just like just feeling the summer chop. I love the liberating feeling of just chopping your hair off. So we did a very blunt cut, slightly longer in the front. So it's kind of like a lob type hairstyle. I freaking love it. So I just did my hair and makeup for the day. Something really simple. I wanted it quick because I have a lot to do today. And I want to thank Merit for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I absolutely love Merit. I've worked with them for a while now. Their products are incredible. They're minimalist, easy, quick to apply, and just like kind of that foolproof makeup that I feel like everyone really needs in their life. For days when you're running behind or you're in a rush or for your everyday five minute makeup, it's just really great quality. It feels so light. Like I honestly feel like I have no makeup on my skin whatsoever. It feels like I have like a nice moisturizer on. It does not feel heavy anywhere. And I just feel like the look of it is so stunning and skin-like. I absolutely love it. I feel like it honestly really speaks for itself. I'll leave their link down below. You do get free shipping on orders over $40. And if it's your first time purchase, you get their signature bag, which I will pop a picture of right here. It is the cutest, most convenient bag. When you untie it, it kind of opens up so you can see all of your makeup in there. So it's really easy and convenient. And then you tie it up. It's easy to travel with. It's easy to store in your vanity, or it looks really cute out on a countertop as well. All right, so today I want to show you guys some new home stuff that we got. Our nightstands came in, our couch came in. So I'm gonna share that with you. Um, so let's actually, right before we do that, because this is sitting out, I used this last night. This is a superior, superior, superior blow dryer. First of all, it's freaking gorgeous. It's like a matte white with the gold accents. It's super lightweight, easy to hold and easy to use. This is magnetic. I mean, are you kidding? The cord also feels very luxurious. Like it's not gonna get tangled. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, there's like a little filter down here. This is where the air comes in so it doesn't like suck your hair in this end. The light turns blue up here when the air is cold and then it turns red when you want it to be warm. Actually, I'll plug it in for you guys in a second. But this is the Elite blow dryer. This is literally the best blow dryer I've ever used. I'm obsessed with it if you are in the market for a new blow dryer amazon shook setting i'm gonna put it on all the way hi whoa i mean whoa best blow dryer i've ever used also i'm using my brother's camera he actually has the same exact vlogging camera as i do so i'm bringing mine into best buy this week to have it sent out for maintenance and I'm gonna be using his in the meantime, thank goodness. His seems like it's already on a better setting than mine is, but I have no clue what I'm doing. I literally don't know how to use my own camera, so I'm gonna have to ask him for some pointers after this. So Ellie is home with a fever, so you can probably hear the TV on in the background. I've had her home for two days and then Kyle ended up staying home today so that I could get some work done. But here are our nightstands. I got these from CB2 and I'll be honest, when I first opened them, I was kind of, when I say kind of, I was pretty disappointed because in the picture I thought it was gonna be like a light wood with a slightly like white salt wash and they ended up being cream or white as you can tell. There's definitely some variation through here, but yeah, the color is very deceiving online. I actually really, really love the way that they look in our room. The cabinets and everything feel really luxurious, really, really nice. So I'm happy with the quality and like it does not move. You could bump into this thing, it's not gonna budge. So I love that because our nightstands in the past have been pretty flimsy to be honest. It also looks a little bit small in that corner every time I have it on camera, but it looks more proportionate in person, in my opinion. So anyway, this is kind of the overview of how our bedroom is looking. I'll link all the bedding and everything for you guys. We're still sleeping on our Helix mattress and loving it, by the way. This is how Kyle's side looks. Super cute. All the decor on top is from Target. And this bench is also from Target as well. Quick outfit of the day. I have my favorite little tunic on from VG. I have this in three colors. I absolutely love it. It has pockets. It's got like a frayed bottom, super flattering, comfy. It's rainy and overcast out today, so this is just perfect. It's comfortable, and I have my little house 
sandals on, but I will put some sneakers on when we leave the house. My leggings are Abercrombie. These are my favorite leggings. And that is the outfit. I wanna show you your outfit, babe. All right, we got Abercrombie. No. Uh, Fabletics. <laughs> we did just, we should show oh, them Fabletics your- Fabletics and Fabletics. Oh, sponsor us, Fabletics. Do you have any of your Abercrombie stuff right close? Mm -hmm. I just got him a bunch of new Abercrombie stuff. Favorite t-shirt. We need to get this in another color. Super comfy. This one's for you. Tropical vacation. I love that one. I like it too. And this one's when, if your nipples get a little hot. <laughs> it does. It's not as sheer as it looks on camera, but it's like, I don't know. That's I cool. love it on yeah. him. It's like a knit t-shirt. I like your tattoos. In your chest, in your arms. I hear a little monkey. I hear a little monkey. Girl. I found my binky. My I thought it was mine. Binky. <laughs> binky bink. I know. No, you binky. Oh, it's mine. Thank you. Ow! Oh, and then. I hurt my fingers. You got my bink. These things. Oh yeah, these sweats were on sale for like 18 bucks and they were originally 90 or something crazy. So nice. Yep. This hoodie is like my favorite. It's just like one of their basic hoodies, but the print is like yeah, it's pretty sick. bird dog and some bards. <laughs> what else did I want to show you? The couch. Okay, well, this is how it really looks. Wow. You would think that we, um... ow, son of a... Have you stubbed your toe on that yet? No, I'm not looking forward to it. Where did that? Okay, here is our couch in true form. I really don't know how I'm gonna um, kind of like accessorize it with pillows and blankets. Very, very minimally, I know that for sure. But I definitely want like two pillows maybe in a throw. So we, we got this from Castlery. Cast <laughs> Hard for me to say apparently, but it's this beautiful performance boucle fabric and supposedly very stain resistant. So I'm hoping that is true. It's showing up brighter in like on the viewfinder than it is in person. It actually has a really nice tone to it that I feel like would be less likely to look dirty than a lot of light colors. Very, very comfortable, like surprisingly comfortable. I feel like you don't realize how deep these seats are um, and how squishy it is until you actually sit on it and it's just a dream. In here, we got our rug -a bowl that came in and it's beautiful. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. It's weird because I brought this in the bathroom just to see what the colors looked like in the bathroom because I was considering getting a runner for in there. And it looked very taupey, neutral. Then in here in the foyer where, I don't know if it's because the ceilings are so high and we have a lot of natural light, it looks kind of like grayish blue and tan uh, tones, but it's really, really beautiful. And if you're not familiar with Ruggables, they are washable. And I really wanted one for right here because Braxton lays right here and he's a rug dog. Like he literally will not go anywhere, any rooms of the house that don't have a rug. So this is his bed as well. So I love that I can just peel it off the little mat and throw it in the washer. I found this at Target, which I've kind of, I say I found, I've kind of had my eye on it for a while. I love the way the colors of these um, kind of play off of each other. So what I'm thinking is I got a portrait light from Amazon, like one of those gold portrait lights that goes on the wall. I was thinking of putting the picture here with the portrait light up there because I got this new couch from Wayfair, which I just love. I think it's so unique and cool. And I don't know, I just feel like it fits in the space perfectly. I wanna get a little tiny like drink stand right there. Or I'm gonna do a collage of like old looking artwork with the little portrait light. I haven't decided. Anything you wanna share? Hey, anything you wanna share with the camera? Are you feeling better? Yeah. Yeah. Little Miss has had a temperature for, we're going on day three and a half. Started on Sunday. Now? You had a temperature all week. I don't want a temperature. I don't want you to have one either. I think you're feeling much better now. But we had to keep you home from school again because you have to be 24 hours without one. And we're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> If you guys enjoy my what I eat in a day, I am going to film 
a like most requested recipe video or most made recipes. I agree, I have a salad that I make and share all the time. And now I have somebody tagging me making the salad. Like I would say at least once every other day on Instagram. And then I also have um, noodle bowl that I make all the time and like an egg bake that I make, like a uh, meal prep for the week. So I feel like there's a handful of things that I make on repeat that I've got the recipe down. I say recipe because I never measure anything. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing that, like my most popular, most eaten meals, snacks, fave recipes. So right now I am trying to figure out a very inexpensive way to print out some wall art. So I'm on Walgreens photo and I've printed with Walgreens a ton of times. Um, these are the pieces of art that I had picked out. I got these in a pack from TJ Maxx. Very inexpensive, I think they were like 20 bucks for a pack of four. So some of these are saying that it's gonna be low resolution, but I feel like with them being like sketch photos and paintings, I don't really care if it's gonna be low resolution, like it doesn't need to be crystal clear. So all I did was I went on Google and I Googled vintage artwork and then I just pulled some off onto my desktop and I'm gonna print them out. Okay, so I just Googled um, Walgreens photo coupon and larger 50 gets you 50% off. So I'm literally getting seven prints for $10 and some change. I feel like that's a really good deal. I'll pop them in the frames. What? I eat them all. You ate all my pickles? Yeah. You little gremlin. And then I think I'm gonna get, I believe they have Matt Mod, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, is that what it's called? Thank you. Thank you. And I think I'm gonna Mod Podge over them and kind of give them like a little bit of texture that way that they're matte because I can Don't order matte you. prints, but they're for mail order only. And they're gonna take like a week. Um, so I want them now. <laughs> I want to get them in their frames. So yeah. I'm gonna order them glossy, look for matte Mod Podge and then Mod Podge, is that what it's called? Yeah, so. I also have to pick up Knox's inhaler at Walgreens today anyway, so. It's gonna be two errands, two things that I've been wanting to get done, done all at once. I feel like no vlog would be complete with at least a couple try-ons, so I wanted to share a couple new pieces in my closet, some items that I literally just got in the mail within the last couple days. So I shared this dress, this is from Abercrombie, I shared it in my last Abercrombie haul, but I got it in like the, I don't know, like sandy brown color, and I loved it, just not on my skin tone, so I was like, okay, maybe if I get the linen color, I will love it and this is a 12 out of 10 obviously needs to be steamed I got it in my true size extra small this dress guys I cannot even describe to you how flattering it is I feel like it shows my shape and it's like contoured without touching my body at all I love the square neckline the fabric is so soft I could not recommend this dress more it is perfection the length is great but they do offer it I believe in the petite and the long and I just feel like this is the perfect summer dress but also something that you could easily transition into the fall some knee-high boots and a denim jacket so so cute okay, this is another item that was in my last Abercrombie haul but again in another color I really wanted it in black so I ended up swapping it out have it in my true size it's in that same soft linen material it's got the zipper on the side, so it's really easy to get in and out of. It's got a stretchy waistband, so it's super comfortable, and it's actually shorts underneath. I paired it with this little Pumi top from Amazon, which I have a haul for coming up, and I cannot wait because holy smokes, I've been blown away, but absolutely love this linen skirt, must have. I also must get a spray tan. I'm tan up here because I like self-tan as my spray tan wears off, but then my legs are neglected. <laughs> Apparently I'm loving everything linen from Abercrombie, but again, I mentioned these in my last Abercrombie haul and I reordered them because originally I had ordered them in short and this time I wanted to order them in regular. I swapped them out because the short was just really short. These are perfection. Look at the shape they give me. Insane. I love these. They're so comfortable. They have a drawstring waist, so like Comfort is 10 out of 10. Very flattering still without being like too snug on my bum. Got them in my true size extra small. I love that these are like casual but could also cross over into workwear. I easily feel like I could wear these with heels, 
but also could wear them with flats. All right, next up I have a couple pieces from Shopo. I went to a wedding this past weekend and I ordered a dress, which is it in here? Because I will show it to you. I ordered, oh, <laughs> let me insert a picture of this dress. I ordered this dress from Shopo to wear to the wedding this weekend and I loved it. It was so comfortable. I got so many compliments on it. I definitely feel like it's something that I could wear again. And anyway, when I was on the site, I found a couple of other items that I wanted to order as well. So I ordered these trousers, which I love the color of them. The shape is amazing. I got them in a US 2, which their sizing is a little bit different. I usually size up one or two sizes when ordering from them. But look at the side of these pants. They have a cute little slit at the bottom. It's like a wide leg. Definitely need to wear heels with these, but I feel like these are so flattering and just something that you could wear a lot of different ways. Style a lot of different ways. It's a unique color. And I just, I love that little trendy slit at the bottom. Also the bum is very flattering and like fitted without being overly fitted. I love the uh, elastic waistband just because it's so stinking comfortable but I feel like these would be really cute for work or paired with like a little crop top like this for casual wear. Uh, why are you at school? I'm gonna go get you. Okay. Okay. Where is that going? I don't know. Oh, someone's calling you. Oh. All right, last two pieces and then I'm gonna go run all my errands. Um, both from Shopo. So this top I have resisted for a couple months and I'm like, I can't resist it anymore. And I did size down in it. I'm so glad that I did. It fits perfectly. It's super comfortable. I love how dramatic the sleeves are. It's like a little tie on the wrist, but it's not functioning. It's like just for looks. So technically I guess you could cut it off if that's something that would bug you, but I love the detail it adds. I just think it's so stinking cute. All right. And then this skirt I wore this past weekend and it is so comfortable this is another piece that i've had my eye on for a little while now it's the denim midi skirt trend that i swore i was not going to be into and i'm totally into it but i love ones with slits just because i am not like petite but on the petite side i'm i say i'm 5'4 i'm like barely 5'4 this one it's like an acid wash black denim super stretchy and comfortable like that's what makes it so comfy is how stretchy it is it's very flattering and it has like these little seams in the back so it really forms to your bum but then is loose so that it's again comfortable easy to walk in and i love this styled up with just some like black birkenstock some sneakers or you could easily dress it up even with this top and some little like strappy heels would be so cute yeah highly highly recommend absolutely love everything that i got i want to unbox our new love every box because kyle has a meeting at three and I have to go film content for a Walmart collab and I'm not gonna be home. So I'm hoping that these toys entertain Ellie while Kyle is on his meeting. This box is new. They just came out with their um, play kit for 49, 50, 51 months, which is the four year old box. And I already went through this and kind of unboxed it with you guys on Instagram and oh my gosh. These toys, you guys. Love Every is a toy subscription, but you can also just purchase the box, um, like a singular box, if you would like. Okay, so this shows everything that comes in the box. Um, I'm only gonna unbox some of this. It looks like definitely older stuff for Knox. This is what I'm gonna put together. It's this little swing set. It comes with a wheelchair swing. Dada. What, baby? I found a stick inside. What? Inside. You found a tick inside? Yes. Where is it, hon? Is that for me? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it together for you. Show me where the tick is. Uh, it's right here. Where? Oh, yeah, you're right. right. That is a tick. Yeah, that is a tick. Yeah. Um, so I'll get it. You're going to get it? <laughs> He's right there on the floor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. You want me to take care of the rest? Yeah. It's just kind of ridiculous. How freaking cute these toys are. Is that ready? It is ready.
Yeah, she's playing with a new toy. Ooh. I gotta go in a few. But I was opening some toys for her, hoping it would help. The book that comes in this box is this one, Charlie Learns Something New. Um, then you get these pieces to build, like a little, it looks like a little town or something, a little road and some houses. It also comes with a fanny pack. This is so stinking cute. Comes with these little magnets, which are so cute. They're like little helper magnets. Here you go. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this cranks up and down. And then you have your little slides. Knox is gonna love this. So yeah, if you are interested in the Love Every Toys, I will leave a link down below. All right, I'm gonna go film for my Walmart collab and run a bunch of errands. I don't even think I'm gonna bring the camera with me and I'll just see you back here later tonight so that I can stay focused and get all my stuff done. All right, I just got back from running my errands. I got almost everything that I wanted to done, but I went into Hobby Lobby for a few things, which I did get all of those things, but I ended up getting a lot more as well. So from Hobby Lobby, all their trees were 40% off. So I got this one, which I love. I had one of these, which is right over here in this corner. Um, and I love it. I just think it's really cute. And I like how dark the greenery is. And I feel like the size is good. But I think I'm gonna put the larger tree here, which by the way, our window, is, our doors are getting fixed. Long story there, but um, yeah, I think the bigger tree should go here in this corner, like the taller one. And then I'm gonna take these ones and put them outside the doors with a wreath on each door. Oh goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got these pots to put the trees in. I thought these were really, really nice. They were like $35. I think they look so much more expensive, like something that would be 100 or 200 from Pottery Barn. These I also got from Hobby Lobby, because I love this greenery, and I wanted to fill this basket more because it's looking a little, a little sad. So I thought that I would throw some more greenery in there. This basket I thrifted. I like felt like I had to have it. It's so beautiful though. It's really, really big. I feel like you can't even actually tell the size of how big it is, but. Yeah, I thought it would be really pretty with some florals in it out on the porch, which that will move because that's where one of the pots is gonna go. I'll probably put it over there because we have a coach coming in to go over there. That will match these chairs, which I got from Wayfair. These are amazing, like could not recommend these more. I'll link this whole setup for you guys. It's so, so good, great quality. Like I could not be happier with this purchase, but we have the matching couch with these to go down there with that little end table and the end tables are from Target. Okay, that's pretty much the overview of what I got. Let's open up these pictures from Walgreens. Again, that's where I ordered them from. You can do same day pickup. It's so inexpensive, it's crazy. So I ended up spending like a little bit over $20, I think, because I ended up getting some 11 by 14s because instead of using like the matted frames, I'm just gonna take the mat out and use like the entire frame. So. Anyway, I think these came out really, really good. I didn't end up getting a uh, matte Mod Podge because the only ones that are glossy are the smaller prints. How does this one go? I don't know, guys. I feel like it came out really good. Like, I'm happy with these. I think something like this would be really cute on that little small wall in the kitchen. Wow, this one's beautiful. I actually think I might put this in a really large matted frame for the guest Bedroom. I guess this one is glossy, but not like super glossy. Hi, lovey girl. This one was the one that said it was gonna be low quality, but because I feel like it was already a very kind of abstract painting anyway, it. I think this is gorgeous. Like I'm really, really happy with it. And then this one of uh, Vincent Van Gogh. So good, like really really happy with it anyway yeah i will update you guys in the next vlog on how that collage wall comes out and all my decorating updates anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope you're all doing well i love you so much and i'll see you in the next video Bye. Bye.